my beautiful beautiful aqua gang my aqua soul family what's up you guys it's your girl empress 777 here today with a general love message for my beautiful aquarius soul family it is our season you guys y'all know I'm, I'm checking in tomorrow okay go ahead and put your birthdays down below in the comments let's turn the fuck up you guys we are the best y'all know i try to stay unbiased but <laughs> How can I? How can I? Holy angels and spirit guys, please come through. Give us exactly what we need to know in regards to this new thing. This new new. Okay. The new energy. Somebody that is coming in or somebody that has just arrived. I do think you need to get your seat belt buckled for this one. Okay. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. It's a very odd energy before the reading. But before we get started, guys, please click the like button. All right. Click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. We are a soul family over here on this side. I'm so appreciative for you guys. You know, I don't often I like to jump right into the readings, but I do want to show you all some some gratitude. Right. We've built a beautiful family here. I'm so lucky, you know, and blessed to have found you guys. Right. We found each other. Right. It's not. It's totally a thing, you guys, right? It's not a kawinky dink. So I don't ever want you guys to think that I take it for granted, okay? I, I truly appreciate you all, your love and support throughout all of the years, you guys. And how y'all be thugging it with y'all, girl, okay? I'm going to continue to thug it with y'all as well. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Again, I said it was, the energy was kind of odd, you guys, right? For a new love reading. So I feel like a great majority of you haven't met this person yet or you don't even know where it's going to lead. If you've met this person, it's still very fresh, very new, and you don't have any expectations for things. You're not quite aware of where things might go. There was a bit of a sadness in the energy, you guys. OK, so I'm definitely sending you love and light. It's like it went from sadness, kind of quietness, you know, um, melancholy energy, uh, being a little bit more reserved, wanting to be by yourself, wanting to kind of just keep to yourself. Um, for some of you, it's like this this person may have asked you out or they will and it's like you say yes but then as soon as the date is like getting ready to come up you get these jitters where you're like I'm canceling that shit right I would much rather stay home and binge watch something I would much rather stay home do not lean into that okay I do feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what this person will be putting down and the energy that they possess because right after this sadness okay or that melancholy energy it felt um, odd. It wasn't really sad. It was kind of sad. It was kind of off. It was kind of indifferent. It was kind of like um, a, a little bit <sighs> lost. It's not that you're lost as a person. It's just it, you could just be in an odd positioning, an odd place in life, in love, in relationships at this time, not really knowing which way things are going to go. If that's even in the cards for you, no pun intended. Right. Um, I feel like right after that energy, that sort of weird kind of energy, there's this very cool, okay, uh, laid back, okay? I don't get that this is this is not the kind of person that's going to come in with the heat, right? They're not extremely extroverted. They're not extremely bold or in your face, but they do hold a presence that will catch your attention. They are going to get your attention. Okay, so we have I am so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we also have Destin. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. So there is a faded um, meeting that is that will be getting ready to happen. That's what I was feeling, right? That I am so sorry energy. So I feel like maybe you could be a little bit saddened, right? It is your birthday season. It's your birthday time. You might be having all the feels about potentially you know, the relationships of the past or not having someone to share that time with, et cetera, et cetera. If you are currently dating this person, like I said, it hasn't gotten far enough. Now, please keep in mind, guys, okay? These messages aren't general. May may not resonate. Do not force shit to fit. I love y'all down. Take what resonates, guys, okay? Leave the rest for whoever it's here for. So we do have at the bottom of the deck, I love you. And I do feel like this is an extension of love that you're needing to have for yourself, okay? This is gonna get you in that frequency that will allow you to see what this person has to offer, okay? I don't know. It's just kind of weird the way that they're um, phrasing it. They're saying that this goes on this side. Yeah, so we have learning, right? So you've learned some tougher lessons in love. That is done, guys, okay? That is over. There's no need to make this person pay for the transgressions of past people. 
sure you might have some apologies coming in. There, there may be some people resurrecting themselves. Fuck those people. We're going to focus on the new. OK, there is a connection here that that is going to grasp your attention. You could, of course, accept the apologies. But that doesn't mean that you have to grant access is what they're saying. Don't allow it to fluster you. Don't allow it to knock you off balance, off kilter. That could be the thing that kind of knocks you out of balance because you don't see it coming. There's an apology from the past, but they are leading me to not focus on that. Right. Like they're being very clear with me that we are not to focus on the past. The new person is where that more easygoing. It's very lighthearted. Um, I do feel like this person will smitten you. OK, there's a, a very light and airy energy about this person. But I do feel like it comes from nowhere. It's like as soon as you give this person a chance, you're going to begin to understand why the past people had to go. Why the things in the past had to happen. Right. You learned some very traumatic lessons is what they're saying. But that is in the past, guys. Right. I'm, I know you're human. So nobody is saying for you to just forget it right forget about it never think about it again act as if it never happened because that's not realistic however if you will give spirit a chance they are here to show you something very very beautiful okay a side of yourself as well that you potentially thought was gone all right because i do see that maybe you went through a time where you weren't interested in romance um you potentially are still not but there's something awakening within you when you start dating this new person when they come in when their energy presents itself it doesn't happen automatically and it doesn't happen right away it's like within the first one to two dates if you accept the dates right i'm getting very strongly somebody saying yes to an invitation somebody saying yes to an outing somebody saying yes you can I'll, I'll allow you to you know plan something for my birthday we can go to dinner whatever 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 and then hours before like damn i'm about to cancel on him <laughs> right i'm about to cancel on her I'm not, i don't know if i'm with this right um if you can get past those jitters of course don't force anything definitely listen to your intuition but i am hearing that it could be um your ego right it could be your your pride and it could be fear as well guys right it, it, you're human so that is to be expected but if you can get beyond that um there is something very beautiful that awaits so let's get a little bit deeper into the energy of this person see yes so we have let's date for a while right so they're not trying to rush things they just got to get in though this is somebody that's, that feels like you're hard to get okay they may feel like you have a lot of options as well even if you don't they feel like you could have a lot of options they can't believe their luck Okay, so let's date for a while. I do feel like this person comes in a little bit more genuine because they're not trying to jump your bones. They're not trying to rush you into anything. They're not trying to hide anything. They are genuinely getting to, to know you. They want to learn you. They want to learn your love language. They want to learn who you are, what you've been through, right? They may even apologize for the things that you have um, experienced in the past. That is something that might take you aback. Because it's like, why are you apologizing for what other people did? And they're like, well, I feel like you're a genuine person. And I feel like you don't deserve that, right? Life is unfair sometimes and the heartache and pain and or betrayals or the, the, the bad shit, quote unquote, that we feel happens doesn't necessarily mean you deserve it. Life is unfair sometimes. That is what they are saying. So we have relationship status changed. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going to have your attention, guys. OK, you play hard to get. But you also are going to have an attraction to this person that's going to make you wonder, you know, well, why do they want to date for longer? Why do they want to take it so slow? It might actually pique your interest more. The fact that this person, they give just enough. It's a very mysterious side to this person. They give just enough. It's not that they're treating you like an option. Absolutely not. Right. Like they would never do something like that. All right. They're not dumb guys. OK, they're not a dense bed. They're not. They're not. So. They're going to give you attention. They're going to be very persistent. Well, not very persistent. They will be consistent is what I should say, guys. OK, so they're going to come around. They're going to be consistent. Their actions are going to match their words, but they give just enough. They're not going to sweat you. OK, they're not going to pose, you know, intense questions on you early on. They're not going to bring up the what do you want, you know, out of this or where is this going conversation too soon? They just kind of want to go with the flow and have fun, but they are going to be very pure in their intentions and very genuine in their care for you. This is somebody who's going to be delicate with you as a person, very much so outside of the box, not something that you are used to. There will be multiple options showing their face, you guys, within these next couple of weeks. OK, like I said, I'm not going to focus on the past people, but they are here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They very much so are here. 
this it, it, they're speaking more specifically to someone who is now having an aha moment um, about the connection between the two of you. There's an apology here and there's somebody who wants to make things official. But I get that you are already um, going to be very much attracted to this new person by the time this older energy shows their face. Still free will at play, but I don't see a lot of you falling for that. I don't see a lot of you going backwards, okay? This this newer person is going to show you things that newer ways, right, <laughs> to date, newer ways to court. Like, there is just a difference. So your palette has changed in reference to what is attractive to you. Mm-hmm. See, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We're not focusing on the past, but they are here, guys. So I have to be very clear about what you have coming towards you. It does feel like a choice between the past and the new. I feel like the new is like a no-brainer, right? But you do have options here. The death card is in the reverse in reference to this person from the past. They are not taking accountability for any transgressions that they have. They may have um, brought to your doorstep with the Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? Now, in reference to this new person, very cool. This is this is somebody who is very suave, smooth. Um, they are good with their words, but there is a genuine quality about how they talk to you, about how they talk about themselves that really speaks to your intuition. You're going to be very clear that you're not speaking to somebody who is putting on. They don't appear to be fraudulent. They're not trying to... Um, coerce you or manipulate you into thinking that they're higher than what they are they keep it a total buck right and i do feel like there is a, a bit of fun here okay there's a level of fun that you're going to be having with this new person that allows for you to kind of let your hair down and to feel a little bit more at ease in the beginning now this person's first impressions of you are the most attractive quality about you is your free spirited energy. OK, you have we have you showing up. So we have the Knight of Cups. Right. And then we also have the star. The star is a card that is in darkness, but it's very healing. OK, um, it can often come after the tower or not often. It comes after the tower. It often comes after a upheaval. Right. It's the, the calm after the storm. This person does view you as somebody who's coming in just on time. I'm not getting that you're showing up as the Knight of Cups because that's not even your style and that's not where you are right now. It's not what you that's not what you put out in the beginning. But this person can see beyond <laughs> what they call your boundary or no, your defense mechanism. It's like they can see within you, you guys, right? They may get glimpses of your sweet side. Is it a traditional sweet way that you are? No, but there's something about the way that you ask how their day was. How, you know, did they eat? Um, little things like that. Those are just a couple of examples. It could really be anything, but there's something that they really have their good eye on when they first meet you, right? They do view you as somebody who's gorgeous, beautiful, handsome. They feel as though there's no way that you're single. And then once they learn that you are single, they're like, well, then there must be competition on the field. I don't get that being the case, but for some of you, it might be okay. We do have the seven of cups here. So you may have a bit of a, um, you may have options on deck. You guys, let's keep that very clear. And if you don't have options currently, this person will come in first and then you will start to see that unravel over time. Okay. Meaning multiple people will want your affections or be fighting for your affections. There will be competition. There will be a competition for your heart. <laughs> They're now pointing out this let's date for a while card. So that could be the type of time that you're on, right? Especially if you have, if you have multiple people um, that you are just getting to know new people. These are not old people. Some of them are old, but they're really focusing on the newer bunch. It could be up to seven different individuals, but not necessarily, right? Um, you have your pick of these newer energies, but you still need time, right? Time is your friend. Time is something that you view as a safety measure, right? Something that will allow for you to discern people properly. This one, per this one person in particular, you guys, okay? It's an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or they have air very heavily in their chart. They could be an Aquarius just like you. Two of you have a lot in common. They may see a lot of themselves in you as well. You're evolved Aquarians, okay? Um, there's an evolved Aquarian energy. So I feel like when Aquarians are, are younger, then they have the tendency to definitely, definitely keep lots of options. But there, there might be that uh, loss of communication because 
often like to avoid confrontation. You don't want to hurt people's feelings. You know, people can often mistake you being nice for you flirting or liking them. And then you don't clear that up. That's like, you know, an unevolved Aquarian energy. There's nothing wrong with it. You eventually grow into yourself and, and you do eventually begin to claim your power, stake your power, which is very beautiful. And it's it's powerful, right? for lack of a better word. So that is something that this person notices off the bat. There could be something that you say to them and they're like, yeah, your exterior is a lot harder than what that interior is. They can see beyond it. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I feel like the most attractive quality to you about this person is, like I said, they are assertive. This person will most certainly initiate, okay? Um, they will take the lead in a lot of the conversations and a lot of the invitations, and you will oblige. I do feel like this is a season where you get to sit back. You get to um, enjoy people showing you what they bring to the table. You get to discern energies and kind of just enjoy the process this person is up for the challenge they always are and they are e they are an evolved soul you guys okay so even if they're your same age or a little younger that's a very slim majority of you that's a very slim percentage of you that this person is either your age or younger if they are then they are an old soul okay they have learned a lot and they learned it fast okay they they learn quickly they may be very good <laughs> In school, they may have attained, you know, a couple of degrees. They may have skipped a grade, some shit like that, right? Um, for others of you, this person is older than you, but they are a older person who has evolved yet not stuck in their ways. They can still see the ways in which they can learn from you. They can still see the ways in which life has so much to offer. Um, and they, it, it never stops for them, right? So there's something extremely sexy about that for you. There's a lot of learning in this connection. I feel like this is a meeting of the minds. OK, so um, there are things that you bring to this person's attention where they feel like they're learning new shit from you. OK, no matter how old they are and vice versa. The conversations and the banter might be something that is extremely fun. OK, with the three of cups here, it's fun. It's fun to sit down and pick this person's brain. You may lose yourself in conversations for hours and hours and hours on end, but it's a total vibe. It's like time is escapes you now the way that this person approaches is not traditional and it's not what you are quite used to okay I do feel like they approach you in a manner that suggests let's just get to know each other okay it's very um surface level it's not it's not too deep it's not oh you the baddest one that i ever seen you the finest dude that i ever seen right i like the way you put it together Eve. no they might just say beautiful weather today isn't it <laughs> right the two of you are standing outside somewhere okay and you're passing each other and you know walking by each other and passing they may compliment your hairstyle okay or Something that you're wearing. It's going to catch you off guard. That's just the beginning. That is just the beginning. I do feel like the way that this person shows up is going to ring the alarm for you. <laughs> not a bad alarm, but it might ring the love alarm, you guys. Okay, we do have I love you here. I'm not saying that you're falling in love overnight, but I do get that you're not opposed to their plans. You're not opposed to this person getting to know you more. The trust does grow um, a little bit more rapidly than it has in the past. And I do get some of you viewing the other options and the other choices as like second best OK, afterthoughts. I just have to I just have to I just have to say that. Keep your good eye on people who are um, treating you as an option, because that should never go in this next cycle. You are the one definitely in control of the pace of every connection. And there may be one to two people. Now, keep in mind, Seven of Cups is multiple options, but there's always one, right? Like there could be one or two of these cups where the contents are not necessarily palatable. 
<laughs> right? It's no longer something that's tasty to you. It's no longer something that is attractive to you. Does that mean that it won't show back up as a different person? You know, same person, different face type of energy to see, just to see if that's still your, if that's still your vibe, if that's still your thing, that's still your flavor. Of course, of course, those are called tests. But you will also have some beautiful connections as well that could blossom into something very abundant, something, a harvest, right? That's what I get from the center cut with the rose, right? There are also pentacles in the um, seven of cups. There's a house there, right? There's stability there. There are connections in which you can ascend and grow from. And there are some connections that you will have where it will just be friendship. And that is okay as well. It's just going to be very important to communicate that, right? Like don't leave people hanging. And that's for um, those of you who, who might be a little bit on the younger side or still evolving into your Aquarian energy. Aquarian energy is very much so a powerful energy. It does have the power to make people feel comfortable when you're rejecting them or very much shatter the fuck out of people's self-esteem, egos, heart shock chakras, they brain space cells and all of that shit with just one word, right? Or no words at all, right? That's the more less evolved Aquarian energy. But once you come into yourself, you are able to assert your power. And that is that is a test for you as well, you guys. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, what a very interesting new love reading at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. So this person is sweet on you. Are they coming in guns a blazing? No, no. Um, they may have a very much so old school approach, okay, where we date, we court, we get to know each other, we build a friendship, we earn, right, one another's times. This person is all about earning. They don't want anything for free. This is the type of person who doesn't want to feel like they owe you anything. So they don't want you to just give them, right? They don't want you to just give them your energy, give them your time, give them your, your love, your efforts. No, they will work for it. They will work for it, okay? And they will reciprocate as well. This is the signs that you need to be looking for in reference to who this person is. It does appear to be a good match and it's a destined match is what they're saying, you guys, okay? An emperor. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's go over to the extended, okay? I'm going to dig in over there. I want to know what they are really looking for. What are they looking for in particular in a relationship, okay? And does that match? That'll let you know if that matches the same thing that you might potentially be looking for, okay? Let's see what their actual intentions are once they get to know you and once they have you, meaning do they switch up? Do they change up? Okay, are there some ulterior motives there that we do not see yet? Why are they single? According to them, their exes and the divine. We look at all three of them motherfuckers, okay? I want you to be protected, okay? I, I'm here for you. Um, I do want to know, you know, if there are any toxic patterns. I don't see that here. This is an evolved soul, you guys, right? They are very much matured. Um, I feel like if they were playing around back in the day, like, that's not even the type of time that they are on now. In fact, I, I'm getting that if this person didn't see you as long-term material, then they wouldn't even waste their time. They would much rather stay single or friends, right? They would say it outright. King of, King of Swords is not going to beat around the bush. It's very much straight shooter, pow, pow, cutthroat, okay? Head over heart. Really looking at things for what they are and not trying to sugarcoat shit to make it people um, to say what you think people want to hear. You got to just keep it a buck. But I will look just in case, just in case, right? I don't want nobody pulling a wool over your head, okay? And then we'll see what the potential is for longevity here and union and when. We'll look at some time frames as well, okay? For those of you who have not met this person and for those of you who have met this person when it has the potential to move to the next level and then we'll get some advice, okay? So without further ado, click that like button, click the subscribe button and the notification bell, okay? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to all you Aquarians. My birthday is tomorrow, by the way. I love you guys so, 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 so very much. Meet me back over at the extended is going to be linked down below in the description box. Let's go.